When you are using PixWriter, you may decide that you want to try a different picture for certain words. Or you may decide that you want to remove a picture from a word that a student can already read. To make changes to the word and picture match, you use the target word. In the toolbar on the left side is a button with a bullseye target on it. That's the target word button. I'm going to click that button and go to the target word window. The target word is the word in my document. For example, if I want to select a different picture for the word horse, I enter the word horse in the target word area. The default picture appears above my target word. And if there are additional pictures in the Literacy Support Picture Library associated with that word, they will appear in this row. Click the desired picture and the picture will appear above your target word. Then click Add Target and you'll see that the word horse is now in my target word list. I'm going to click OK and return to my word bank and I can see that PixWriter has automatically updated that button. I'm going to make some additional changes to this word bank. I'm going to remove the picture for the word C because my students can read the word C and no longer need the picture on that particular button. To remove one picture from a button, click the target word, enter the desired word, in this case C, and in the center section click No Picture. That removes the picture above the target word. Click Add Target and click OK and you'll see that PixWriter has updated that button and there's no longer a picture above the word C. Now I'm going to show you how to make a phrase word, two words on a single button. If I want to add the word hay wagon to this word bank, if I were to type hay and wagon and press the space bar hey. between, Wagon. PixWriter makes a button for each word because PixWriter makes a button when you press the space bar. I'm going to go to the target word and enter the word hay wagon. And PixWriter does have a graphic of a hay wagon and that's the picture that I want. Click Add Target and click OK. Now there's another way you can use the target word and that is to substitute a different picture that's not, uh, that does not appear in the thesaurus. I'm going to use the word cat, but in this case, just for the sake of de uh, demonstration, let's use the picture for the word lion. My farm really wouldn't have a lion but I want to show you that I could substitute a different picture from the library of over 10,500 graphics. Click Add Target and click OK. And you can see that PixWriter has created the button with the picture of the lion. And that's your target word basics.